Welcome to another CJ Pro um, video, and I got a comment in my vid one of my videos about stairs in a side-scrolling game. This is also the advanced tutorial, so I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff you can do with your game. So I'm just going to get right to it. Um, so first we're just gonna use any tile sets you want. I'm using just outside for now. Now I'm just gonna start with stairs first. Um, so you can do this plenty of ways. First you can do like a stair type of thing with this. Um, that doesn't look very good. but. Yeah, you can do it like that, and before I go through with the stairs, I'm going to just block out all this. You're also going to want a little longer of a stage. Alright, so, back to stairs. Now, you could do it that way, or do the same thing with events. Now, how this is going to work is we're going to grab an event. We're going to hit event touched. Or, yeah. And then we are going to go to set root and make your character turn to the right or left, whichever way they're going and you want them to look like where they're going. Then make them move upper left or down or lower down, whatever you want to do. It's always make it so it skips if they can't move. All right, now um, we have it for the lower part, but we also want it for the upper part. So do basically the same thing. And this time, make your character turn left. And then lower left. Just don't, don't go too far with how far you're making them go, because you don't want them to go too low. All right, now we have this. When you go to the stairs, ta-da! Nice little stair way you can do, like, stair th way to do that. And then if you want it, you can also just use the stairs right here. Actually, we'll do it right here. like that, but you're also going to want um, an invisible tile, so like this, um, so I'll just show you how to do that real quick. Go to the tile sets, and then go to outside, go to B, and we have that there, but we want it as... Why aren't any of these letting me do it? Apparently that one won't let you. Um, I'll just show you with this one. It's close enough. Alright, so go to B, and then we have uh, this one or this one. Alright, there we go. Alright, just copy what I did with these. Um, now we'll just save our game, and this is what we get. Ta -da. You can go up or down, and the tiles behind them, they'll, you can just make them invisible. They'll be gone, and you can just make blocks there to make it look more, you know, like that. So that's basically the stairs, unless you want something more like old or in an old house or whatever you want to use, you can do something like this. You can go there and go down and get wood or silver ladder. And then you'll go up and it'll look very nice. So like this. And it will also do that. So that's how you go up and downstairs and all that stuff. Now back to the rest of the tutorial. The tutorial. Um, go to edit map 
and this is for the background so make sure this is transparent um, and then go to image and you can make your own if you want but I'm just gonna use these mountains so I'm gonna hit OK make sure it's loop horizontally you can make it scroll however much you want I'll just do it at 5 so now we have this and it'll look like that let me just change the ground so it looks more like that I mean this part doesn't Ah, uh, there we go. That looks like how we want. So just save that. And there. It moves even when you're standing, so you can, like, make it rain. If you don't want it to move at all, you can do that. But it'll probably look really good with clouds, and trees. You can make it look good with trees. Um, yeah. And then you can make it not move at all, which that re looks really good. That looks more like an old side-scrolling game. So it doesn't move when you're standing. It only moves when you walk. Looks pretty sweet. So that's how you do that. And before I end this, I will show you how to make a quick bad guy. Um, so hit do event touch. And make sure, make absolutely sure that this is above character. If you do one of the others, he will glitch and either you won't be able to move or he'll just keep killing you really fast. So make sure it's above character. Frequency highest and normal and custom approach and just do a whole bunch of this as much as you want. It doesn't matter. Then choose your bad guy which I'll just use this this dude. Um, did you see that? Did you see how it did same as character? It just changed when I did that. I'll show you how to do that. All right, we do not want this. We want to do animation. Doesn't matter which one. And change HP. Decrease. We'll just do five and allow not count. So again, put as above because it changed for some weird reason. Alright, so it should work. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> we got our bad guy. So that's that guys. Um hope this helped. Um the only other I have a answer for a question if you want your person to jump you can do that but I haven't really figured out how you make them jump over blocks and make them land on top that would take either some coding or a lot of events so or a lot of common events so there's probably some uh, plugins for it you can get them for that and I'll put um, links in the description for how to make your person jump and also just to add any controls you want so I hope this helps guys um, like and subscribe and comment and I can make more tutorials for you if you just ask so just think of anything for also I do I don't just do RPG maker I can do other tutorials on your computer, on other programs, as long as I have those programs. But um, yeah, I, I don't just do RPG Maker. So, like and subscribe and comment, and thank you very much.